Hi and welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Something a little bit different. So the other week I reviewed the JJRC, I think it was an S3 RC boat. This is the JJRC S4 called the Spectre. The big difference on this one, this one is the only boat I could find with a 720p camera. So it runs off an app and you can record too. So it is a bit different. And the controller has a holder for your phone. Now, mine came with a screw with it from there, so you can put a screw in it, but you would normally have a screw you tight in there. So that's your controller, and there's your trim. So it's all trim, and your steering trim, and it's standard forward and backwards. Stop and backwards, and you control. So, let's have a look at the boat. So the boat's obviously different. So the this is the essence inside the board, it's just the same as normal, so it runs on a 7.4 volt, 1600 milliamp power uh, battery, which is on charge. And it plugs into there, it's water cooled, brings in your water from under here, and throws it out of there. You've got your rudder for your servo, stabilisers, and your motor that's running through. ESC's under there, all nice and sealed. Now, as I said, the big difference on this is the top of the boat. So as you can see there's no wires going to the camera, so in here you have another 1S LiPo and the 1S LiPo is inside here, this water sealed compartment and you charge it with the USB cable that comes with it, USB charger and then you plug it into the camera so you'd plug it into the camera like this and then you'd put it back on the boat I'm not going to seal it down but as you can see so to water seal it you'll hear it click in a minute, just hang on and then you make sure that locks there, you put all your pressure down here, like that, make sure it's all gone in on both sides and lock it up. So, the camera's now on. So connect it to the Wi-Fi as you would a quad. So just find the Wi-Fi for this. And the Wi-Fi is UAV. Connect your Wi-Fi up. That's connected and the app it runs on is JJRC TST so when you enter into this app let's go back out of this let's go back into the device so you check, select your device so I've got RC boat the reason I'm doing it on a tablet is to make it easier for you to see so RC boat S4, I don't know if my screen will automatically turn now because I've had it in that portrait mode. Anyway, uh, connect the device. There you go, it's turned. And there you go. It records in 720p. There's a little bit of lag, but it's not bad. It's actually better than a lot of quads. And drones that are flown, not, the lag's not that bad at all. So it records in 720p back to your device, there's no SD card, record it back to your device and then you can take it off your device. So it's a little bit different than most others, I'm quite excited to have a go with this. It's only come today and it's now half seven at night, it's dark, so I haven't had, I won't have a chance to play with it today. But great idea, I love the way that it's separate, it's got a separate battery. Pull that back off again and take it off. I love the way this is all separately. You can buy this canopy separately, so I believe. And I don't know if it'd fit on the S3. It may well do, but the S3 has another compartment. It probably wouldn't actually, because the S3 has a compartment, then a compartment on top. This is just one single compartment. And it seals on tight. That is not easy to get off. The boat is very similar size to the S1. It's not identical. S3, should I say, it's not identical. And again, the control is the same. Cost-wise, I think it was around £50. You're paying for the fact it's got a camera on there. So what I intend to do is get it in the water and I might, I'm going to take it round obviously and show you the footage that it records and I'll try and get another boat in the water at the same time so you can see what it looks like chasing a boat and see what the quality is like. But yeah, I am really excited about this. So let's go take it, put it in the water and then I'll give you a three or four minute sail, drive, whatever you do in the water and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at it. I'll also show you when at the end of the video how much water, if there is any in there. So, be back in a minute.
Okay, so you saw it in the water. And as you can see, this camera is useless. And the problem is, it's only running at a bit rate of 1.2 meg. It's 720p, 25 frames a second. But as you've seen, it's so choppy, it drops that many frames, it's untrue. And it, it, the black blob in the sky, if you're wondering what that was, that's the sun. It can't handle the sun at all. It can't handle going from light to dark. And you cannot, no way can you drive or sail this in FPV. It just breaks up far too much. Also, not just that, but the boat itself does not, is nowhere near as controllable as the S3 that I reviewed the other day. <coughs> the S3 is much more controllable. This was struggling to turn left and right at times. I couldn't pull it round. I have no idea why. It was as fast as the S3, you know, a little bit, it felt a little bit quicker to be honest, but no, I'm not impressed. I was, I had massive high hopes for this and I was so hoping this would be great, but it is a letdown. Uh, I'm very much so. I'm just shocked how bad it was to be honest. The camera's just complete waste of time and the boat, because probably it's a bit heavier, isn't as controllable. So what I will do is I'll leave a link at the end of this video for the Latitude, which was the S3 that I did the other week. Far better boat, half the price, save you money. This is definitely not one I'd recommend. Thanks very much for watching, have a great day. Thanks very much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.